Tonight we are going to be working on water slide, but before we get into it, um, if you looked at the channel uh, art, uh, or you can see my little picture, my new logo that I have. Tonight I have planned on showing you guys how to put my logo on a mug, and I had it all cut out and everything, but somebody actually ordered one from me, so I used the one I already had cut out to make their mug. So we are actually going to be using another decal for tonight's tutorial, but I am going to post pictures of my Gucci Crafts mug um, at the end of this video, so we got to watch the end. Don't be skipping forward on my video, okay? Mess up my watch time. Anyway, oh, and don't mind these nails. Oh, I know they look horrible. I'm getting them done tomorrow, I promise. So next Wednesday, they're going to be pretty. Anyway, uh, back to our water slide tutorial. So tonight, we're going to be working on water slide. Okay, if you don't know what water slide is, water slide is a paper decal that you can use to get on several things. You can do mugs, um, you can do ceramics, you can, um, well, most mugs are ceramic, but you have glass mugs out there too. Um, it can go, this particular water slide paper can go on jade, it can go on metal, marble, wood. I mean, there's so many different things that you can put it on, um, plates, um, you can do plastic, and um, it, is just what it says water slide you need water to get it to slide off its backing to get onto your item okay so the particular brand that i am using is the kodak supplies brand and i got this from amazon and this is white paper for inkjet this is white water slide paper water slide comes in this white paper and it also comes in a clear paper the white paper i feel like gives you more color more vibrancy um the clear water slide i probably would use for candles and maybe some clear glass projects it just depends on the color and the look that you want if you want more like a translucent look um then the clear would be best for you but if you want it to look like it you know it was um, it was uh, painted on there or even sometimes if you get a good water slide it looks like you know a sublimation um, on the cut the prep for the water slide is always going to be within your packet some water slide companies will have you go to their website to look but a lot of them come printed on the back just like this um, to save time in the video I've already prepped the actual water slide um, because I know that's when I make long videos y'all don't watch them Okay, so the again, the instructions are going to be there. You're basically going to print out your water slide. You're going to spray your varnish on it. Um, and the varnish that you, you can use, you can use Mod Podge. Um, the spray, though, not the one that you can buy in a little jar. Um, you're going to use the actual aerosol spray um, or any acrylic sealer. Um, and when you go to buy the water slide on Amazon um, or any site, it's going to tell you that you need to pair it with the sealer. Also, if you, when you look in the description when you're buying the item. Um, so after you print it, you spray the varnish, you let, uh, dry the varnish. Um, you can dry the varnish with a hair dryer or you can dry it with a heating tool. Okay, I use my heating tool. Um, after you do that, you're going to go ahead and cut your image out. And tonight, instead of using me... We're gonna be using this anything is possible. Mm. And we're gonna be putting it on our nice black mug. So we're gonna see how that comes out on our mug. Um, so the supplies that we need, which I just showed you half of it, the mug, <laughs> the actual decal, paper towel, okay, and a basin of water. This is room temperature water. I don't have it too hot and I don't have it too cold. I find that this particular brand works well that way. You don't want to get it um, too hot because the way that you actually can seal this on the mug, there's a couple of ways, um, is either by using your blow dryer or your heating tool to seal it on there after you get it on the mug, placing it in your oven or a toaster oven, or you can put epoxy over it once it is completely dry, okay? Um, so if you wanted to give it some extra -ness, um, you can use epoxy after this goes into the oven um, to seal it. I'm not a big fan of putting epoxy on things that go in my mouth. Um, a lot of people use water slide to make tumblers, uh, but there, 
they are not putting the epoxy on the actual part that the person is going to be putting in their mouth. Most of those tumblers have tops on them and you're going to drink from the top. So your mouth is touching the actual um, lid, not the epoxy itself. And then some people with tumblers um, bring the epoxy line down a little bit so that you do have room for your lips um, to go onto the tumbler without eating epoxy or drinking from epoxy. Um, with mugs, I gen uh, generally will just seal it in the oven um, itself. My toaster oven broke, so I'm going to be using my oven tonight. This particular brand of epoxy wants you to seal it. Um, if you're going to put it in the oven, which it doesn't require that you do. Some brands do. Some brands require that it has to go in the oven um, in order for it to adhere uh, to, whatever, to the ceramic. Um, this one... It does say that you can do it with a blow dryer, okay, right? If you put it in the oven, it doesn't, it wants you to get between 110 and 130 degrees Celsius, okay? So at 110 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, that's about 230 degrees. Um, I go on the lower end. My oven is from like the 60s, okay? I'm not talking about your oven. Um, but, and it works, it overworks. And so I generally put my oven at 200, um, because you are spraying the aerosol spray on there. I don't particularly like to put things like that in my oven, um, or at least not a lot of it, you know, over and over again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just open up the oven. And again, this oven works, it gets really, really hot. And I'm going to put the, the actual mug onto the oven door. Just sit it on the door with the oven open um, for about 10, 15 minutes on 200 degrees um, because, again, my oven overworks. Um, so you know how your oven works if you're cooking and working with it all the time and baking. You know if it actually gets hotter than the degree that you set it on. So do that accordingly. Or you can use a toaster oven. Um, those are electric, so you can set the exact temperature on those. Um... After that, I let the mug sit and I let it dry for a full 24 hours or continue to dry for that full 24 hours. When you take it out the oven, most of the water is, is from under your decal. Um, but before I use it, I like to let it sit for 24 hours or um, before I wash it, like, you know, clean it off my fingerprints and things like that from working with it. I wait a complete 24 hours just to make sure that my decal is on there and I'm not going to ruin it. Um, with water slides, you don't want to put it in the microwave. You don't want to put it in a dishwasher. Um, of course, just like with vinyl, you don't want to scrub over the actual decal itself, but it will hold up, um, to regular dish soap, um, and warm water. Uh, I didn't use really hot water with it. Um, I also did not soak it. I would not suggest that seeing as though you're going to be soaking the decal to get it on the cup itself. Okay. So, what we are going to do now is get started. All right. So, let's go down. We have our basin of water here, which is really our main component besides the decal itself. Okay. I'm going to get a couple of sheets of paper towel. I'm going to get one of those pieces of paper towel wet, and the other one I'm going to keep dry. Okay. So, I'm going to put my decal down here in the water. And you see how when I first put it in, it kind of curled up. Okay. Now I'm going to let this soak in here for about 30 to 60 seconds. And then I'm going to check it. Okay. So that's not quite ready yet. I know that it's ready when this will slide off without me having to force it off. You want to be very gentle. Okay. Water slide decal is very sensitive. So because I am a right-handed person, I'm going to face my handle towards the left. Let me do this, Move this up a little bit. Oh, gotta get it, it's already trying to come off of here. Okay, handle to the left. I'm gonna size this on here where I need it to be. Okay, and very gently, I'm gonna slide my water slide um, and the backing off. See that? Being very gentle. Okay. Now I want to take my paper towel and I want to wet this a little bit more. 
so that it'll move freely for me and I'm not ripping it. Right now I'm just positioning it and I'm making sure that I don't rip it. You don't wanna pull it too hard, um, but you do wanna get it on here straight. But you gotta be careful. It's very, very sensitive. It's almost like working with tissue paper. And I look at it, like a little bit crooked. Let's straighten that out a little bit, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper tile. And I'll move you guys up a little bit. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pat with a little bit of pressure to get the excess water off. And when I see a wrinkle, I'm gonna rub gently, not very hard, I'm rubbing gently. You wanna be careful that you pat and not rub. For one, rubbing too hard will move your decal because there's still water under there. Hence the name water slide, it will slide on you. So when I rub, I try to rub outward, pushing the water away from the decal to get rid of the little wrinkles that you'll see. And the pressure that I'm applying is a very, very light pressure. I don't wanna to push too much on the decal, but I wanna get all this excess water out. Sometimes it will also help if you have the item itself wet. And I just wanna press just to get the water out. My puppy's making noises outside there because he hears me in here. And I'm just pressing to get all of the wrinkles out. Okay, lightly pressing. And again, when I do rub on it, it's very gently and it's to rub out those little water pearls. You get little water bubbles under there. And you just wanna be gentle. If there's ever a spot that you wanna get a wrinkle out of and you feel like um, it's too wet, or um, excuse me, that you feel like it's too dry, you can add a little water to it. But I'm just going over and I'm pressing gently. I want to get all my wrinkles out. Oh, it's got a little piece of glitter on there. Where did glitter come from? The life of a crafter. Glitter's on everything. I haven't even made anything with glitter in a while. And it just popped up on there. See, I got some unwanted wrinkles here on the side. I'm gonna wet that just a little bit. Give me some more pliability with the water slide. And then go in and take those little wrinkles out. A little bit up here. And again, I'm being very, very gentle because I don't want to rip it. I already see one little spot where I have a rip, but you won't really be able to tell. There's one little itty bitty rip. You want to be very careful. And 
And as you can see, when I'm rubbing, see how that water's coming from under there? There's still water under there. That's the one reason why um, you need some kind of drying apparatus. You need to either dry it with a, a hair dryer, um, with your heating tool, or go ahead and dry it in the toaster oven, or like I'm going to do, I'm ghetto rigging it, and I'm drying it in uh, on the door of my oven. So this is our water slide. Anything is possible with Gucci grabs. <laughs> So again, this is going to go on my oven door for about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? And it is going to be sealed on there. Again, I wait 24 hours before I wash it um, or before I use it, okay? And look, that looks like it was printed on there. Pretty darn all good, all right? I will have a class coming up on how to do water slide on um, wine glasses and coasters. And I'll be going over how to do the white water slide and also the clear water slide. During that class, I'm going to also go over um, the prep for the water slide itself, how you actually prep it, best tips and practices and things like that. Um, as always, if you are a subscriber or just watching this video, um, once it goes up on the website, which I'm going to try to get it up on the website by Friday, um, the link will be in the description box. I'm going to come back in here and edit and put it in the description box. Um, the website is svgondemand.com. Again, that's svgondemand.com. That's where you're going to find my light just went out. Mm, just run my lighting. Anyway, that's where you're going to find my classes. Also, you guys, I have created a Gucci Crafts fan page on Facebook. So you can go to Facebook and search at Gucci Crafts. I get messages all the time that say, oh, I missed your class. Oh, I wanted to take the class. Oh, how do I know uh, when the class is happening? I drop all my classes in the description box, you guys. But um, so that we have a ground zero for our Gucci gang, yeah. Um, I created a fan page on Facebook. You can go to Facebook, again, search at Gucci Crafts. Um, it's gonna pull it up. Go ahead and follow the page, like the page, share the page. Um, and that way you'll be kept up to date um, on all of the classes that I'm gonna teach. That page I'm also going to um, go live from every now and then. Um, and I just got a group to go live on YouTube, too. So I'm going to do a live YouTube sometime soon. Um, but again, that page is going to be the ground zero for Gucci Crafts. That's where you're going to find all the classes I'm going to be teaching. You'll find any pop-up events that um, I will be attending. I'm going to be posting crafting tips on there. I'm actually going to also going to be taking polls from you guys, the Gucci gang, to see what kind of videos it is that you guys would like for me to make, what you would like to learn, what we may be able to tried together that I haven't tried. Like I'm open for it all. Okay. Um, from now on, I'm only going to be doing uploads on Wednesday. That's the day that I am completely and totally committing to because of my schedule and my jobs with the S. Um, I cannot commit to two uploads a week right now. I know. So Wednesdays is going to be our day. Like, share, subscribe, save it, download it so you can watch me offline when you ain't got no Wi-Fi, whatever, girlfriend. Share with your friends, too. Um, and meet me back here on Wednesday. See y'all. Gucci Crafts. Gucci Crafts. Gucci crap.